the vulnerable narcissist and their incredible sulk. Now, toddlers can sulk when they don't get their own way. Teenagers can strop and sulk. It's a part of our natural development. Not all toddlers will sulk, not all teenagers will sulk, and not all narcissistic individuals will sulk. Just because you're dealing with a sulky teenager or a sulky toddler does not make them a narcissistic person. Narcissistic individuals need at least five of the nine criteria, such as that sense of entitlement, that exploitative nature, their envy of other people, their lack of empathy towards others, that requirement of excessive attention. And one way they gain that attention is by sulking on you, especially when they don't get their own way with you yet they do it in a manner where they can sulk with you yet be happy with everybody else or they can sulk with everybody they sit there staring blankly at their phone staring blankly out of the window laying in bed doing nothing to the point where you panic and worry about their welfare and want to help them and ask them what you can do which is feeding them the attention they believe they're entitled to and it's very hard to step away because sometimes people can be going through things. However, we can only support people to help themselves. A narcissistic individual wants you to support them so that they can help themselves to your stuff. They can throw some of the most almighty tantrums and the biggest sulks from a grown man and a grown woman. And it's not because they are just simply processing things, it's because they're trying to manipulate the situation into their favour. 